are you working in web ui automation or you are working for testing or you are a web ui developer today i'll be talking about a tool which can save your time it has saved a lot of time for me most of you might be aware about this tool i'll talk about few of the features of this tool not all of them uh, which makes a tool good so this is the tool the name of the tool is selectors hub it is a very small in size like 396 kb but it can help you a lot so i'll go to first of all the support for this uh, selectors hub there is a github page and you can raise any issues for that and sanjay who is the creator of this tool uh, who is award winner of also indian achiever award so he will be quickly get in touch with you and he will discuss those some of the issues for example i'll show you some of the things that uh, he has worked on so let me first show you the tool like how it works so in web ui automation you have to identify like where various elements on the page and then you will perform various operations on it for example suppose i can directly copy from here and then let me check whether it is giving the right x path or not i and i'm checking in here so yeah it is giving me the right path so there was a so yeah after you install it it will come under elements on the right hand side with the name selectors hub and suppose if you are uh, if your screen is smaller it it might come in this drop down so just check it out that where it is coming since i have a bigger screen so that's why you can see it here so i'll just reload this page and so i'll try one another element which is in a different language hindi so it's just like an ide right when you for example if i type it is giving me the options right so here it has typed for me hindi right and the good part is like it is giving me various suggestions so it helps me learning like earlier i was not aware about this normalized space and some of the options which it is suggesting right so that helps in learning and when you are new to xpath right and uh, you want to write your own you can just switch off this button turn off auto suggestion so this one i was telling you that it was coming and when i first started using the tool i find it that it's disturbing my learning so sanjay has given that feature and now you can switch it off right if i switch it off and i type here now you see nothing is coming so i can write the xpath on my own right or i can take the help of this drop down at times when i am facing problem or i want to see that what are the various things and uh, the other good part is i'll show you some other site as well because it uh, looks simple google so if you see amazon it has so many things so many elements and some of them could be complex so i'll go here and click on inspect here and i'll show you some of the very good features for example i suppose if i have to click some five seven elements on this so what i can do is there is a feature called as export right you can just click on it and i can just right click elements and it will start generating the elements for me here right so at times because every times once you you have already learned the tool and you want to speed up your automation so this is very useful and then you can click on this button and you have your exported sheet over here like and the name is coming as download so i have raised a feature request to sanjay that to name it something with the host name and all hope that feature would be coming soon and there are other features uh, as well for example here uh, let me come out of this feature so for example sometimes some of the tools have single quote double quote so that support is there and the good part is suppose i am searching for an element a right so in dev tools it will show you a string match because dev tools is not specifically made for the selectors right whereas if i type the same a here you will see only the x path matching nodes are coming over here and i can see all of them at the same time here like suppose there are 469 matches i have to scroll a lot right so this is also one of the good feature it has and suppose if i want to say this gorav element so suppose i want to take an element which is having some attribute which is not suggested it is it also gives you these suggestion that what all are the possible uh, x path of a particular element for example let me change it which has more attributes right for example if i want to do by this href element i can write it href 
then it will suggest me the x path which are starting with that attribute or which are having that attribute so that also i can do and i can give certain commands as well for example i want driver dot find element right when you are new to automation you do step by step you don't have functions and also that you can write along with this x path value under it then what will happen is the x path it will generate you can just copy it from here and directly paste it in your script okay and another good feature uh, about this is let me switch off both of them okay another good feature is suppose i am doing like this and i write something like sometimes we we miss a single quote in some of the x path right or then when you press enter it will give you invalid x path and various places it has for example if i click on this it is giving me the suggestion that on his site the tool has given various suggestions like this like what all are the possible things so you can check uh, what kind of mistakes you have made it also has a certification i did that certification if you see it's very good and there would be lot of learning for you for this tool and then coming to i'll show you some of the other advanced features for this for example yeah this website so it, this website has an iframe right so if i just inspect this element and i'm only using uh, this path and search for this element here the text written is under h1 tag right i'll search for h1 text is equal to this right so it is giving me that i have found this element but if i use the same element in my code it will not work especially when you are uh, when you are new to this automation this could be a trouble if you don't know that you will see that it is able to find but why it's not working in code so in this case selector hub can help so here it is telling you that it's in i frame right it is in frame so first you have to use the concept of switching to that frame and then and again there is another good feature like if it is inside two i frames right so if you see here you can just scroll like this so it is telling us that there is i frame 1 there is i frame 2 so there are chances that you can miss it out uh, it's it's not that you are doubting your knowledge somebody is doubting your knowledge and all but this can speed up the things for you right and there is a debugger option as well for example if you see on some of the websites especially travel website where a drop down will come right and you have to uh click on the drop down but as soon as you right click it it goes so there is a debugger option for that so all those details can be seen on this site so he has a very good youtube channel as well and it is there available for all the major browsers so you can go to that channel or you can do the udemy course as well here uh, where sanjay has explained all the feature of it so i really like this tool and if you want more features just put an issue and i'm sure that sanjay is definitely there to support you so hope you like it so please subscribe to my channel if you are coming for the first time thank you